Yo, yo, yo! What is up, everybody? I'm Firebro999, and welcome back to another reaction. Today, we got a new reveal for Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. We got Norbert and Daggett from the Angry Beavers, and uh, I am super excited for this. I can already see off-rip. They got the dam that they live in as a stage, and it looks pretty good. Uh, I like how they mimic the art style, but in 3D, it is so cool. I love the background. Um... I gotta say, like, after Rocco, this is probably the next 90s character I would have been excited for. So, I'm glad that they're in here, and I really wonder how they're gonna be. Are they gonna be set up like Ice Climbers? They're gonna be a 2-in-1 character, obviously. I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't be. Would they be like Duck Hunt? I don't know. But, let's find out. Get all boss groovy and ready. Yo, I remember him! You've got your beaver survival kit, right? The Angry Beavers join the battle. Oh, they're not a duo character? Oh, they're tag team? What? Oh, they switch out too? What? Hold on. They're a tag team and a swap out character. What? Yo, this is like King of Fighters for real. The Angry Beavers are literally King of Fighters. That is incredible. Don't mess with the bull, my friend. You'll get the wow. Quickly, Norbert, the modulator thingy. Oh, I forgot. One of the Beavers' share of voice actor was Zim. I forgot. They got Richard Horvitz voicing two characters in the game. That's kind of crazy. Anyway, that was a shock to me. I thought they were gonna be like Ice Climbers or something, but no. I think this is actually better. Wow, so this is the first character in Nick Brawl history to swap out like that, and, and they have tag team mechanics where you can call in the other one? That is pretty f cool. Wow. Okay, let's actually take a look at the moveset this time. I was just mesmerized by that. Wow. Time to get all I, I forgot this dude's name. Ugh. But I love how the stage looks. I'm gonna have to look that up later. <laughs> Wow. Oh, by the way, I'm watching this on uh, Polygon's website because that's where the video is posted on the article. Um, they don't have it on YouTube just yet, but probably by the time this is uploaded, it's already on there. But yeah. Wow. Let's take a look at this moveset. Uh, that looks like some kind of up throw. Oh, poor Reptar. They ain't got to do my boy like that. Uh, up tilt. Light up tilt. I'm guessing that was a Nair. That had to be a charged. Ooh. The little tornado thing. It reminds me a little bit of a Taz's move in Multiverses. It makes sense. Oh, it keeps him like literally inside of the Whirlpool. Oh. Okay. So does it, it looks like it sends him upwards when the move ends. So it's like also kind of similar to a Mario Tornado a bit. This is a job. And you could swap out. Oh, that is so cool. So with the whole way they're set up, it seems like. Okay, he has, I think that would have to be like a charged uh, neutral move. It looks like that up tilt was the same. They share that move. Um. Did he hit him with the frying pan? Sorry, the quality is so bad. I'm not watching it on YouTube, so it's a bit inconsistent. Oh, he attacked him with a uh, log. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that is a spike for sure. Okay, that had to be a charge down attack. Or a down air. My bad. Uh, that's another tag move where he can call uh, the other beaver. I forgot the... F I ah... I don't remember which one is which name. Damn it. My bad, y'all. Wow, so you can really pressure with that. So you can straight up be from one side of the stage, call in one beaver to, like, do their attack, and you could sneak up on them while they're distracted and just straight up, like, punish them off stage. Or you could just, you know, attack them right as the other beaver is finishing up the move. That is such a sick setup, man. It reminds me so much of a traditional fighter that way. Plus with the whole slime mechanic, the Angry Beavers really are King of Fighters characters. 
That's crazy. That was a very impressive uh, up special. Did you see the distance on that? Wow. Okay, he double jumped and then... Oh, he used a slime. Okay. Or slime canceled. I, I gotta see like a full match. I really do. Wow. What was that? Like, I saw stuff raining down. That was definitely a tag move. Oh, he throws a bunch of logs and they go downward. I see slime right there, so that has to be an improved move. Wow, so you can use the tornado twice, cancel, use it again. I know that has to be like a lot of damage used. Swap out and then hit him with the up smash or charge up attack, my bad. And this is their super. Wow. That was impressive. So, uh, that is the Angry Beavers for Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. Very cool character setup, man. Like, wow, that is probably the best way to implement a 2-in-1 character anyway, in my opinion. So, what do you guys think about that? I think they look really fun. It gives me so many, you know, vibes of King of Fighters, the way that game is set up with the tag uh, system. That is so cool. So we're on Polygon's website because that's where uh, Game Mill sent the uh, trailer. It's, a, it's an interesting way of doing reveals. Like they send it out to different uh, article companies. It's really a win-win situation because they get to promote the game as well as the websites. They also get traffic you know, about these articles. So, um, let's, we're gonna read a little bit of the article. We're not gonna read the whole thing. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna read the whole thing. So, Norbert and Daggett Beaver, better known as the stars of Nickelodeon animated series, The Angry Beavers, are joining the Nick Brawl 2 roster. The duo will feature a unique assist mechanic in publisher Game Mill Entertainment's platform fighter. The Beavers brawl tag team style, calling in each other for help during attacks and swapping places as players see fit. As seen in the duo's debut trailer, Norbert and Daggett feature a two-in-one fighting style with a bit of assist fighter spice. That's a feral unpredictability to the Bucktooth 2 that helped for, uh, further distinguish them from the rest of the Nick Brawl 2 lineup. And yeah, so that is a really cool setup for a uh, character. I wasn't expecting this at all. I thought they were going to be like Ren and Stimpy style or perhaps I would have brought over the Ice Climbers route, but... Wow, so you could swap them out like Zelda and Sheik in old games, or Pyra and Mithra, I should say, nowadays. With the whole call-in mechanic? That is super cool. So let me know what you guys think in the uh, comment section. There will be a link to the article from Polygon in the description. And with that, I am out of here. You be sure to subscribe to Fire Row, or I'll send you to the Shadow Realm.